one. I'll be presenting my paper on HRCT in diagnosis of smear negative TB patients. Even though increased efforts have been made to contain it, TB remains a major public health concern and in India 2.6 million people were diagnosed. In 2017, 0.49 million people were treated without microbiological diagnosis. Culture can take up to 6 weeks for confirmation and the radiographs cannot distinguish between active and old infection. So HRCT can therefore help in providing a provisional diagnosis so that treatment may be started soon. And the true worth lies in the amount of surety it delivers to the radiologist clinicians in distinguishing other diseases. So my goal was to determine use of HRCT in obtaining a diagnosis in presumptive TB patients before disease becomes widespread and treatment regimens are not used needlessly. The aim was to describe findings of HRCT in sputum negative patients and also to determine efficacy of HRCT in diagnosing sputum sphere negative TB patients. It was conducted over 12 months and an observational cross-sectional study was done for 96 patients and patients having cough for at least 2 weeks, hemopsis, fever and so on were taken and those with radiographs showing TB, those having 2 samples negative for TB, with patients with disseminated TB were chosen. Patients of 18 years of age or less and sputum smear positive patients were not taken. So what I did was took the smear negative patients, HRCT was done, a bronchoalveolar lavage was done and sample was sent for CBNAT or sputum smear examination or fiber optic bronchoscopy sputum smear examination was done to see if they were positive for the same. So those positive were classified into the following headings from highly suspected of TB having three of following findings like main lesion in upper lobes or apical segments to those having other suspected diseases. What I saw was the highest age group in which the patients were present was 41 to 60 years and out of total 96 patients and those having TB were in the age group of 41 to 60 years. The main findings were the lesion being in the upper lobe, tree in bird appearance and lobular consolidation which was seen in the TB patients. The lobular consolidation was the most common finding observed in 27 of the patients and cavitation and tree in bird appearance were the most significant HRCT findings. So final position was based on HRCT criteria and criteria 1 was satisfied by 31 patients of the total 46 and therefore I calculated sensitivity and specificity of all the individual ranks and there were 67 percent sensitivity of rank 1, 84 percent of rank 2 and 97 percent when all 1, 2 and 3 were taken as positive. So concluding the study demonstrated that cavity and tree burn nodules and lesion in upper lobes were the most significantly associated with risk of TB and main use of HRCT for diagnosis is the selection of patients that are highly suspected of having TB among those having pulmonary lesions of undetermined etiology. The limitations were increased sensitivity of new methods of AFB detection like fluorescent microscopy and many presumptive TB patients were started on treatment without confirmation due to the COVID pandemic. These are my references. Thank you.